So first of all, let's understand secant. This expression is really saying the secant of some angle equals 1. And we don't, and if I want to better understand this, I'm not going to use secant, I'm going to use cosine. So I'm going to do it the way, kind of like the faster way. I'm just going to say that then the cosine of this is really equal to 1 over my, whatever my previous answer was, right? So it's 1 over 1, which is really just one. cosine of theta equals 1. So then I got to look at my unit circle and I say, all right, for what angle is cosine equal to 1 within the domain restrictions? So remember the domain restrictions are right from first and the second quadrant. Here are the coordinate points 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0. So staying within this domain, restricted domain, what angle gives me a cosine of 1? 0. I was still right. What was your angle? OK, OK. Exactly. You left the, it's the angle that the angle doesn't count. You can't, okay, okay. It's not within the domain. But you will admit that I was going in the right direction with my. No, you didn't follow the domain <laughs> restrictions. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Like the domain restrictions is everything. We remember looked at the graph. Do you remember looking at the graph? Yes. It, it's very specific. Your domain has to be constrained between those two values. 